Up next on the forum, statistics make it clear the safety and well-being of our children is everyone's responsibility. Find out how you can support the cause. We'll show you three ways you can get your tax return prepared at no cost, plus an upcoming seminar for all ages about depression and suicide prevention. Human Services Forum begins right now. Hello and welcome to the forum. The Virginia Department of Social Services reports that more than 6,400 children in the Commonwealth were found to be victims of abuse and or neglect last year. 35 of those children died. The numbers make it clear that no one can afford to look the other way. And a message repeated for years by Betty Wade Coyle, Executive Director Emeritus for Prevent Child Abuse Hampton Roads. Joining her is current Executive Director Bessie Marie Renner. Thank you for joining us for the show. We've got a month of observations coming up for Child Abuse Prevention Month, the month of uh, April, and uh, some events, as well as just a great opportunity to stress to people just how important it is to take part and making sure our children are safe. Absolutely. Not Well, it's the parents' responsibility, but it's everybody else's too, because if you don't say something, things do not get done, and tragedy can result. It can, yeah. it can. And some of it is just that parents aren't prepared for parenting. Yeah. One, one of the things that we're finding is causing a rise in our statistics, not necessarily from founded abuse, but from unfounded abuse or neglect, or at least investigations, is sleep safety. Mm. Uh, people want to cuddle their babies, they want to put them in a lot of soft bedding, and we're finding more and more children are suffocating accidentally, also in co-sleeping situations. So part of our endeavor this year is to just help parents understand sl safe sleep and know how to bed their children so they don't accidentally die. Yeah. So prevention takes all kinds of forms, but a lot of it is just helping support parents because parenting is very hard. And most people have no idea what it they're getting into <laughs> until they're there. And some people handle it better than others. And also, I think uh, support systems are, are so very important, and not everybody has those, particularly our military population. When you have people that aren't are away from home and everybody they know, that can be really tough. Absolutely. Well, Bessie, you have just come on in, in mm -hmm. January as executive director. Yeah. Now you have big shoes to fill with Betty, but Betty is, um, I know, always uh, standing by and, and to be a part and spokesperson and advocate for children. So your your presence here, I mean, you've got a whole future now ahead of you and, and some ways of looking at um, the, the world of, of children and abuse and neglect. Well, I do have a social work background, so mm. I've seen the, the bad effects of, obviously, abuse and neglect. So having that background and kind of coming into this position, I am a huge advocate for prevention and the importance of taking the right steps in order to do what's right by our children mm -hmm. um, and do what's in the best interest of them and then also help parents if they need it to help guide them in the right direction so that if they have a tough time, you know, they can call the, the hotline on 1-800-CHILDREN and, mm -hmm. you know, be able to talk to somebody and kind of work through it instead of trying to handle the challenges all by themselves if they don't have a support system that's nearby. So I'm, I'm looking forward to the road ahead. <laughs> well, and it certainly there's always a lot of work to do, and there always has been, um, and I know Betty can attest to that. Uh, you mentioned the supporting parents and getting them to become aware of um, safe sleep habits um, for parents and parents and children or children in their cribs, um, which is very important. Are there other things that you really want to push um, for the upcoming year or so? Oh, absolutely. I mean, obviously, abuse and neglect of any kind, you know, one is one too many. So we obviously will be ad addressing physical abuse issues and neglect and then also uh, dealing with the child sexual abuse issues that unfortunately um, seem to be on the rise mm -hmm. um, and are becoming more and more talked about. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue to do that and, and focus our efforts in that direction as well. This always raises an in interesting question when you hear about 
increased number of reports and you wonder is it because there are more or because more people are reporting um, one would like to think that maybe more people are getting involved in saying mm -hmm. something but that still doesn't mean that's good news um, it still mm -hmm. means it's happening right. um, and it, it's never good news mm -hmm. but one of the things I think we're seeing this concerning is the cases that are being reported in many ways are much more severe and when you talk to people in the ER and you look at some of the children that died of of abuse um, this year in the state of Virginia, many were abused over a period of time and not just one incident. And so those kinds of things are very concerning. Mm -hmm. Well, period of time and, and then people, and it not being picked up is a concern. So, you know, are those children being seen by other people? Are people taking some, the right Sometimes steps? they are and sometimes they aren't, but yeah. Bystanders many times are reluctant to report, and sometimes when they report, they're not heard. So there are a lot of places in the system, and when we do child fatality review, we address all those different areas to try to enhance the response as well as the reporting and, and the actual prevention, like the education on safe sleep. Right, right. And there are a number of videos available, too, for sleep prevention um, safety, or sleep safety and uh, for, for infants and parents. So I'm sure if anybody Googled online, you could find some very good things. EVMS, I believe, came out with something recently. Um, that, that was yeah. produced out of our local team mm -hmm. from EVMS, and it's gone viral. Yeah. Uh, it's been sent around the world through a, a sudden infant death internet mm -hmm. service. And so people are using it all over. I think Portsmouth Naval Hospital is going to start to use good. it. Good. Yes. We, um, we did present it a, a few uh, months back, and it was... Um, chilling, very, very direct, and it needs to be. Mm -hmm. um, you can't, can't sugarcoat this. And, mm -hmm. and, and I don't know that there could be a parent out there that wouldn't say, you know, I've done that. I know. Right. And that's what's scary, but it's also what wakes people up, right. literally, and, and, and gets them to pay attention to the things that may seem so ordinary that really, really can end tragically. Right. Well, and too, with consumerism, I mean, the way that some things that are presented with the bumpers in the crib yes. and everything matching and let's put more plush animals and things of that sort in the crib with the baby because it's cute. Mm -hmm. um, so it really is about making the public aware that back is best and, and you don't need all those pretty things in the bed for the baby to sleep well. Mm -hmm. There is a conference coming up for child abuse prevention. Yeah. in Richmond for uh, professionals, I believe. Is that correct? Well, professionals and anybody interested. There are a lot of advocates and volunteers. Um, out there are CASA workers that come to this. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, there are fun things. Yes, and there's always the Celebrity Night, which uh, may or may not have taken place for the time this airs, but every year there is a Celebrity Night fundraiser. Mm -hmm. This is a, is a big deal. And it takes place in area restaurants throughout Hampton Roads. And uh, I know in Norfolk we've got Four, five, six, fish, bistro, yeah. 219. 219, Baker's Crossed in Ghent, and, and then the Azalea Inn. Ah, and the Azalea Inn. And I think you've been known to come there and wait tables. I have, <laughs> or just to pester people, or, you know, hobnob with the elite, mm. you know? It's, but it's always a fun it's time. It's always fun. And, um, you know, and the, and the folks who run those restaurants are very supportive and have been for many years, which is... Um, nice, nice to know, but it's what the best thing is is the people who actually come because of it, and they help by donating well yeah, the tipping their waitress or tipping waiter. their waitress mm -hmm. and buying a t shirt mm -hmm. <laughs> yep, so there's a lot that you can do, and um, so it does draw a good crowd of people absolutely right, so any closing or parting words before we sign off here uh, as to child abuse and prevention, if you could leave people thinking about one thing. Well, I think they should look for help if they need help. And there's always 1-800-CHILDREN, and locally we have Kids Priority 1, uh -huh. which is 757 children on the phone. And if you need parenting resources or just want to look up information, those are the places to go. Mm -hmm. so, it's all right to ask for help. Oh, absolutely. It's okay, and don't hesitate if you have. Parenting is hard. Right. It is. Okay. Kids don't come with instructions. That's right, they don't. <laughs> but you can certainly get some help. Yes. along the way. Thank you. It was right. great um, to have you on board. And thank, thank you, Betty. Great seeing you again. Thank you again. Well, don't go away. The tax filing deadline is fast approaching, and we'll show you three ways to have your return prepared for free.
Hey. Sandra. Oh, sorry. I'm just really surprised at how expensive food has gotten. We've been trying to put aside some money to buy a house, but lately we can barely make it from one paycheck to the next. I'm in the same boat, but with this additional money I'm getting from the EITC, things are looking better. EITC? It's the Earned Income Tax Credit. I'm going to be getting almost $2,500 back. What? For more on the EITC and free tax preparation, call or visit our website. Did you work and earn income in 2012? Was your adjusted gross income less than $51,000? Do you have children living at home? Does the thought of preparing your own tax return or paying to have it done make you want to change the channel? Well, don't. There is help, and my guests are here to explain. Sharon Gares, who is with the AARP Tax Aid, or AARP Foundation. We have Willard Pretlow, who is with the United Way of Southampton Roads, as is Bonnie Taswell. And uh, Bonnie and Willard have been very busy um, helping out with our tax preparation sites and mobile sites, roving sites, mm -hmm. which is a story in and of itself. And Sharon, uh, with AARP Tax Aid, a very popular program. Mm -hmm. It's been around for a long time. You guys do a great job. So what is it that AARP Tax Aid provides uh, taxpayers during the tax filing season? Okay, well, we'll do anybody's taxes as uh -huh. long as they're not too complex. Mm -hmm. So that's our only uh, requirements. You can't come in with over 20 transactions from your stockbroker. So if you're a day trader, we're going to cut you off at 20 transactions. <laughs> because each person, each oh transaction gosh. now has to be entered. That's new IRS rules starting last year. So that's pretty much the, the worst thing that we see. Now, we don't do a whole lot of rentals. We don't do rentals either. So if you have a lot of rental property. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, there's no income limit to ours. Okay. Our, our, uh, we're grant funded. A grant from the IRS is, states that we should focus on those 60 and over, but we do everyone. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter who they are. Uh, we have lots of locations in the area. We're keeping on track this year. We are still uh, in uh, South Side. We're about 5,500 returns, federal returns done so far. And if you cross over the water, we have another 3,000 wow. or so that we did over in Hampton and Newport News. So we're doing we're doing great. Mm -hmm. We're seeing the uh, same things that they're seeing. They're very they're more complex. It's taking more time to explain to people uh, what's going on and why they have to pay money because a lot of people are paying money when they didn't have to. So That's right. They're coming they're into this thing. I don't have to pay to get it done, but then they end up having to pay the um, exactly. IRS, and right. and that's not always uh, <coughs> expected news. Um, and if it isn't, then well, but at least you know, <laughs> and uh, sooner or later it's going to catch up with you. But for those who come in because they really are anticipating a refund and they get one, it can be very helpful as well. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure you get all kinds of stories um, when people come through the door. Um, but it is a free service, right. which means that these people aren't paid to do it. They are volunteers. And volunteers, well, you can't tell volunteers they have to do something. But most of these are, they are doing it because they love it, they're mm -hmm. passionate about it, and they would bend over backwards to help you. It's just that a lot of people like to have it done. So right. we have people who are clamoring for the, the service, but um, mm -hmm. the service is out there, and it's available. Yeah. And I think we're all certified in the same, the same manner. Mm -hmm. So uh, no matter who you go and mm -hmm. have your taxes mm -hmm. done with, we just happen to have the benefit of being able to go above the $51,000. And yes. that, that helps a lot of other people that are caught in situations where last year, uh, maybe they were making some money, but this year and they're not so lucky and they're unemployed and they can't afford to have their taxes done. So yeah, yeah. we're able to help those people. Okay. Bonnie, you're, you're dealing with uh, lower income families, uh, tax sites that provide for people that make less than $51,000 in adjusted gross income and may have children, qualifying children. And uh, that is correct. Those, uh, the, the interest from mm -hmm. the, the citizens and taxpayers who may fall underneath that income level, um, and even individuals, mm -hmm. uh, has been pretty impressive? Oh, yes. It's been pretty steady this year. Uh, what we focus on are primarily communities where we do have the population. We're at a, uh, most of our locations are right off a bus route or easy access that people can get from their workplace. Uh, a lot of our point appointments are based on 
what's available to us. Uh, we're at libraries, we're with uh, some of the social services, we work with Commissioner of Revenue in the city of Norfolk, which is a hot spot for us. Um, we have about 15 different locations this year. We also have the grant opportunity to go into the Smithfield area. Okay. One of the first times that we've been able to hit some of the rural audience, and so we're working with the library there, and we're gonna be doing tax returns uh, at that site before tax season is over. Mm -hmm. The 30th, I think it's going to be our Father's Day weekend, I mean, um, Easter weekend, mm -hmm. is going to be our weekend for tax prep in the city of Smithfield. Mm -hmm. So we're happy about that. So we're looking at rural and um, urban areas in all of the cities. Okay. So. Yeah, it sounds like you've got them covered, and that keeps you really busy. Yes. Because Bonnie just doesn't sit in a chair and talk about it. She's <laughs> out there doing mm -hmm. and coordinating, mm -hmm. as is Willard Pretlow, who has been busily helping um, in all of the examples that she has given um, by coordinating, providing the service, making sure we have the volunteers there to, to do the work. Mm -hmm. uh, because if somebody is not able to make it, it can shift the entire day's oh, yes. schedule oh, yes. around. Yes. Mm -hmm. And yes. so folks just need to understand when they call, make an mm -hmm. appointment, if they don't get a real person answering the mm -hmm. phone or they don't get a call right back, mm -hmm. it's only because the volunteer is the one answering the phone mm -hmm. and they are also the one preparing the yes. taxes. Yes. Uh, there have been a lot of additional rules. The IRS is really making sure that quality <laughs> assurance is covered. They, so that takes a little extra time yes. for the preparers not only to train for, they all are IRS certified, um, but also it takes them maybe a little longer at times to prepare those taxes mm -hmm. and make sure that they are done the way they need to be done mm -hmm. so you don't get a reject. <laughs> My Free Taxes is a yes. part of United Way's uh, a grant that United Way has gotten, and if you could just briefly tell us how that works. Sure, sure. For those who have transportation challenges and they are not able to visit the uh, AARP site or one of our roving sites or standard locations, they can log in on their own personal computer to myfreetaxes.com forward slash United Way SHR and do their taxes themselves. It is sponsored by Walmart, the Goodwill, the National Institute of Disability, and through United Way, and the program is hosted by H&R Block. So they ask the same questions that they would get if they were coming to the VITA site. So it's a pretty comprehensive program. It doesn't leave too much out, and they are able to do it online themselves. So that way they don't have to worry about, well, I got to make my appointment, get off work, and stuff like that. They can right. do it any time they want to, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and get the exact same thing done at home. Wow. Great convenience and that and the whole idea of being able to go online or learning to do it yourself yes. is also a component right. of outreach this year. Mm -hmm. One other piece to that is if they get stuck in tax preparation, there is a, a number that they can call so they can actually talk to a live body ah. um, to assist in that. Yes. Would that be yeah. you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's, a, is and there's a national uh, hotline number that they can call as well. Okay, terrific. Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of ways that you can access assistance whether it be by making an appointment and coming to a site and bringing your documents mm -hmm. or by doing it online and learning how to do it yourself um, or with the assistance of somebody going through each of the steps. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, income limits can apply in some instances yes. but exactly. not at all with the AARP Tax Aid Foundation. And our sites are first come first serve. We only have one site that will accept appointments. Okay, mm -hmm. good point. So it, be ready to wait yes. but you know that's okay because when you're done, you're done. You get your taxes prepared, you get them sent off, e-filed, is that correct? Yes. And, um, and then you're, you're finished with your taxes and right. you're not paying somebody uh, 200 or more dollar fee. And it's to state taxes too. Mm -hmm. you, you it's know. both federal yes. and federal state taxes. State. That's correct. It's a good point. Mm -hmm. It's not and, just federal. And that also applies on the My Free Taxes. Uh -huh. You do state and federal. Well, what happened is once you finish the application process, you e-file your application, the federal will go through first, then you get an acceptance on your federal, then the state will follow. They're no longer 
transmit it simultaneously because the federal has to be accepted before uh, the state mm -hmm. can go through. Another one of those things they're trying to, to make sure that what is sent out is absolutely the most accurate mm -hmm. possible. Mm -hmm. So we hope that you'll um, take advantage of it. We know many people have and thank you for all the time all of the help and time you've given to the community because these folks really are at the heart of what's going on. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. We'll be back in a moment with important information about suicide prevention and coping with depression. Don't go away. Have you heard? The U.S. Treasury is phasing out paper checks for Social Security, VA, and other federal benefit payments and going electronic. If you currently receive federal benefits by paper check, you will need to switch to direct deposit or to the Treasury-recommended Direct Express Debit MasterCard. If you plan to apply for federal benefits soon, you'll want to decide which electronic payment option is right for you. Visit GoDirect.org to learn more or to make the switch today. Depression and suicide have no barriers. They affect every age, race, and socioeconomic level. But if you or someone you know has battled depression or has even hinted at suicide as a solution, then stay right where you are. Elaine Roberts, founder of Still Standing, a local support group for suicide survivors, is here to offer a wealth of resources, some perspective and information about an upcoming seminar that can benefit anyone regardless of their age, race, or socioeconomic status. So um, good information, not a lot of time to share it all, but we really want to stress the importance that being uh, suffering from depression um, is nothing to take lightly, and not everyone who is depressed would necessarily consider ending their lives, but this is certainly an important thing to pay attention to. So, Absolutely. Yes, yes and uh, the um, conference that's coming up is for everyone. It is in, it's April 16th, and it's at the Virginia Beach Resort and Conference Center. Now, that's the hotel that is on Shore Drive and Great Neck, right. Great Neck Road, not the big conference center down at the oceanfront. This one is on the, uh, the bay. Mm -hmm. And you can sign up for it, and registration to keep the $20 um, fee, which will include speakers, and also lunch and health, health screenings and CEUs. That um, needs to be in by April 10th, but you can come that day, you can come April 16th, and Sarah Corrado, mm -hmm. and her phone number is 757-385-0876. That's 757-385-0876. She can give you the information to sign up. Okay. And the, really, the, the speakers are wonderful, and everyone is invited, Oliver Hampton Roads. It's really the keynote speaker is Reverend James Magnus, mm -hmm. and he will be talking about suicide in the military, an epidemic, symptom, or both. And he has experience with the armed forces and federal ministries, mm -hmm. and that's the keynote. Then we have morning breakouts, and you can choose from decreasing the risk of suicide. There's also youth, risk factors, opportunities, and challenges, and also healing the faith community, their response to suicide. Then you have lunch. In the afternoon, you have a breakout sessions about community resources, prescription drugs, use and abuse, and seniors, suicide awareness and substance abuse. It covers a lot of territory, but yes. all of it is just so important. It is because this suicide, depression, it, it, um, there is a difference in the signs for youth and say seniors, there's some things that are the same, but say maybe youth might say they're sad, a senior won't say that. They'll talk about headaches, stomach problems, things like that. So it really pays all of us to really learn of everything we can because this does affect all ages. Yeah, it sure does. And just pointing out the, the differences in how behavior is exhibited uh, between age groups is, is critical because people may assume that there's a stereotypical behavior 
for someone, and that is not the case. Um, and our military being a huge component of our population can certainly benefit from learning about this. And this, this conference can be for um, survivors of suicide, people who are professionals who may want to learn more about it, um, advocates for people who have um, perhaps attempted suicide, and people that are trying to help. So, yes, and this is uh, yes, so. This absolutely. is uh, this can accommodate quite a few folks. And and churches, representatives from churches, yeah. pastors, or the associate pastors, because it is about uh, how you can also reach out into the faith community and educating them about crisis intervention, about um, um, mental illness, and about substance abuse. So mm -hmm. the churches, um, this is so important to have representatives there as well as as and as government. City officials from the other cities, it's, it's an awesome place. Nonprofits, it's been uh, a collaborative effort of, with uh, different groups such as YCAT and um, I Need a Lighthouse, mm -hmm. as well as NAMI in Virginia Beach and the Crisis Intervention Team Interfaith Committee of Virginia Beach. Okay. So a yeah. lot of folks are coming together to really be a great resource for Hampton Roads. Right, and the, and the church aspect too, is that having access um, they are. They have an access to people that perhaps other organizations may not, which um, which is uh, huge and and very important. And all that. So it sounds like oh, you've got a lot of good things, or there are a lot of good things going on with that. So we put the number up on the board, and we'll we'll throw it up one more time so that you have it. Um, and that is again on April 16th, correct? Correct. Mm -hmm. And it's um, 9:30 to 2 o'clock. Okay. Lunch lunch included. Mm -hmm. And Sarah Carrado can help you out with um, the information that you need to, to get on board. We'd love to have everyone there. Okay, there's a number on the screen, 385-0876. Um, if you want more information about this uh, seminar for all ages. So for even if you ages. are a senior, come. Yes, if you please. have a parent who is dealing with this, come. Um, and uh, Elaine also has a support group, and you're welcome to give her a call. Here's her number, and a website. Um, where you can um, look into suicide survivors and um, some support for folks, either you or somebody you know, um, who might be dealing with that loss. Crisis hotlines, we have a couple of them you can call, and also INeedALighthouse.org, which is a, um, a terrific website for um, helping people who need to understand a little bit more about depression and suicide at any age. I'm afraid that we have run out of time, Elaine, but hopefully we've gotten the point across. There's a great conference well, coming thank up. Thank you. And thanks for and sharing it. And I will be it. there as All well. All right. Terrific. And thank you for joining us. We'll see you again next time.